JTY back with you here for Life in Color, sitting here with Rob, lead singer of Until We Are Ghosts. You've been for me! I've been dying for you! Let's get into it. What do you have? I mean... Um, I got, got, I think I got like eight, eight or nine pieces. Um, first one I ever got was this one right here. It was, uh, it's a hockey piece. Okay. Um, because I literally played hockey since I probably could walk. As soon as I was able to walk, my dad put ice skates on me and like taught me how to skate. So that's been a big part of my life. Um, the Buffalo one, that's kind of funny. It actually has nothing to do with Buffalo at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, back in, uh, was it 2014 when we started touring, um, we toured with this band called Endeavor. And at this, at this point, we had never done anything crazy on tour or nothing. And they were like, oh, do you guys play tour games? And we were like, no. I would just go to shows, <laughs> right, sleep in yeah, bands, yeah. that's it. So they, uh, they introduced this game called Buffalo to us. And uh, I mean, a lot of people have played it. It's, it's kind of like a drinking game, but we've turned it into like a universal game. Where So anytime you have a drink in your right hand and someone calls Buffalo on you, it doesn't matter what it is, unless it's hot or frozen, you got to chug that whole drink right Damn, there. Damn, okay. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's turned into some crazy thing. I, I, uh, I, then my buddy Greg from the band Bungler, I uh, I caught him with a full gallon of green tea once Ooh. and chugged the whole thing and it, well, it was it was a classic. <laughs> so uh, actually, Bungler when we toured with Bungler, we introduced them. We got them to play and once you swear into Buffalo, you you're in for life. You're in for life. So we when we were on tour with Buff Bungler, they were just kind of like you know this game's for life. Why don't we put it on us? So yeah, yeah. everyone in Bungler and then our old guitarist Jim and me, we all got Buffalo tattoos. And no, it's okay. This is a, yeah. it's a left hand as a reminder that if you got it in your left hand, you're safe. You're safe. You know okay. what I mean? So I'm, around, long time I'm around here, yeah. I'm just going to go left hand. As long as it's left hand. You know? <laughs> so, Very nice. Um, but that's that piece. That's pretty cool, yeah. Um, got a couple other ones, like the big one I have on my arm uh, by Dave Ball from uh, New York. Uh, super cool, talented artist. And... I met him at the Tattoo Expo, I want to say in uh, 2012 or 2013, and uh, right, off the, right off the bat, like he had so many cool dagger pieces, and at that point, point, I was really into the art of tattoos, I loved a lot of the traditional style, and it was mainly, it wasn't just about like what what's important to me, what what's going to mean something on my body, yeah. I'm more or less just like, I love the beauty in the art of tattoos, like they're just so, like a good artist is talented, you know? Yeah, and, definitely. That jumped out to me, and I was like, "You got the flames, you got the the flower, everything I love." And for some reason, if you start looking around my body, I've got flowers just like everywhere. everywhere yeah. I don't know why. I just <laughs> it, it works, flowers it works, just yeah. they're big for me. So, uh, and then I saw something on the inside here. On there. Yeah, then, um, this is honestly probably my one of my favorite pieces. Um, was by Dylan Wren, who's actually done the most on me. He's from uh, he tattoos out of Syracuse, at uh, working class tattoo. Um, he's he's done a bunch of tattoos on me. I want to say. Three, three or four. Okay. Um, this is probably my f most favorite and one of the most painful. <laughs> um, it's weird because this inner arm didn't hurt. None of the other ones. Well, they, they all hurt. They but hurt. Yeah. It, this one hurt me the most only because like I feel like it's got a lot of detail and a lot of inside stuff. So mm -hmm. um, we did it in one sitting, and he did the outline. So by the time he got done with the outline down here, and well, by the time he did the whole thing. The outline down here was kind of starting to heal, you know, after like a couple hours. Yeah. So he starts shading, and I'm like, oh, man, this is, <laughs> this is killing me. And he's like, are you good? You want to stop? I'm like, we got to finish it, man. Like, I, I don't know. I've, I've never done, I've never dedicated myself to a huge piece yet. Mm. I mean, I've got ideas to wanting to get a big piece of it someday, but I've never done one where I go in and do multiple sittings. I've never yeah. done that yet. A lot, All the ones I have are, I mean, these are my biggest pieces, I think. I've never really gotten the one that... I need to go and then come back. So, yeah. but Dylan, Dylan chewed me up real good. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it though. It's literally probably one of my favorite pieces. It's Th so that cool. one definitely stands out. Yeah. And he, the whole time he was doing it, he was kind of sweating because he. A lot of people at his uh, shop and him, like they love Dave Ball. You know, like they really look up to his t his skill and like he was crossing into Dave's tattoo. Yeah. And he was just like, I still want to do nothing crazy. <laughs> so he did an awesome job. Dylan is a fantastic tattoo. Artists, so. nice. Very yeah. nice. And then, um, then just the legs, or yeah, I've got, I got, a, I got a few on my leg. Um, Dylan again, uh, horseshoe, the hand, and some flowers. Um, like I said, flowers everywhere. Yeah. Um, uh, this one was another Dylan Wren. I got it as a, a donation piece. They were doing a, a drive. I, I'm drawing a blank now. What the drive was. Um, 
someone in Auburn died in a car accident. Okay. Um, I, th I believe he was another tattoo artist from that area. I'm, I'm drawn blank yeah, now. Right. Yeah, yeah, But, uh, yeah, I mean, I went down there. Dylan, a whole bunch of the tattoo artists were just crushing tattoos out that day. Nice. Oh, yeah. $50 tattoos. And got in there. Dylan did me up real good. And then I got this. This is probably my second favorite one on the back of my leg. Uh, Kevin Lockwood on Buffalo did it. And it's a uh, half buffalo. Or not half buffalo. Uh, half bear, half wolf. Nice. Um, I just felt like that one was the second one I ever got, and that's kind of when I was in that phase of it's got to mean something to me, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this tattoo I felt like resembled who I was. Like, I always just felt like my personality is just like a wolf and a bear. Like, I just feel like I kind of I can be a leader, but I'm also really strong and diligent. So mm -hmm. that's kind of why I got those combined. And I, oh, yeah. his, he's awesome with animal tattoos. Like, very good at it. So it's so almost like, yo, draw me something. Combine, mix the faces together, mm. and fucking crushed it. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I've loved it. And so. then uh, anything else or not right now? Um, not nothing crazy. The newest one I got would be this little rose right here. Um, it's honestly really sentimental. It means a lot to me. Is uh, it's it says DMFY, which is our latest release. Detach me from you. Amazing and, album, by the way. <laughs> thank you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we were on our CD release tour with uh, Bungler and this band called Lifelink. Okay. Repping my boys life right? <laughs> um, from Arizona and nice. uh, all talented bands and we just literally from day one right out we started the tour in New Hampshire went all the way to California wow. and uh, the the whole, every day of that tour was great like yeah. we all just had a great time and even though we ran into a lot of issues with not the tour package but the tour itself just long drives shows yeah. canceling yeah. it was kind of a rough tour and a breaking point for a lot of people but the bonds we made on that tour were insane. We just we became family, and we ended up getting stuck in, I want to say it was uh, Utah. It was northern Utah. Can't remember the name of the town, but we played this venue. It was a cool little venue. Um, Bungler found out there something was wrong with their transmission. They were they were gonna be screwed. They were gonna have to leave their van there. There was a lot of things going on, and we had no show the next day. It got canceled. Okay. And it just kind of sucked. And the venue guy that we played at was like, "You guys can crash at the venue." No. Nice. Welcome to crash. That's awesome. so it was cool. And he's like, "Hey, I got a show here tomorrow night. If you guys want to play the same venue two nights <laughs> in a row, do it." We're like, awesome. "Dude, let's do it." Yeah. So we're all like hanging out later on the night. He's like, "I got a dude that does tattoos. He'll do you guys for free." <laughs> and we're like, "What? This guy's gonna do free tattoos? Are you kidding me?" So. Uh, the next morning we're all waking up, we're like, yo, are we serious about doing tattoos? Let's all go down and get tattoos. So I found out the dude's gonna, he wasn't gonna do them completely free, but he was gonna do like $20 a pop. Oh, okay. Which nice. was nothing, nothing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was like, we all, we kind of looked like, are we gonna do different things? We're gonna do the same thing. So he gave us this flash, he was like, yo, you guys can pick something from this. And we all picked this rose. And I don't remember if it was somebody from Lifelink or Bungalore, I think it was Ross from Lifelink, was like, why don't we do the rose with DMFY? So nice. not only did our band do it, but Lifelink and Bungalore did it. And nice. like, That's awesome. That meant so much to us that these dudes that became our brothers, like our closest friends, like it, it was such an honor to us that they were willing to put our record title on their body, you know what I mean, Definitely. for life. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. that's why this is, it's it's so small, but it probably means the most oh, out of anything I have. Nice. Because it's just, it, it's a bond that we all have forever. Yeah. So. I also noticed the one on the inside that said down, drug free, that yeah. one there. What was, uh, what was the mean by that one? Um, Corey Smith did this one for me. I think it was my third tattoo I ever got. And like I said, it was when I first first tattoos, I was, I was that person who was like, I gotta get tattoos that mean something. And this definitely means something to me. I've been straight edge since I was 19. Nice. You know, um, going strong, almost 10 years now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it's just, that's, that's my life, you know, it's, it's, Ooh. And, I mean, I know a lot of people regret doing it, you know, they like to have X's on their bodies, and that's something I know I won't regret, you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, it's how I want to live my life. It's you know, just how I've lived my life for the last 10 years. So I'm going to live my life till I die. Definitely. Oh, yeah. So, that was my intentions, and so, it's kind of why I wanted to get the, the drug-free tattoo, you know, so, um, I went for that one. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then you did mention uh, a little bit ago uh, future plans. You sort of were thinking about getting bigger pieces. Um, do you sort of have anything, anything sorry, uh, set in stone right now or not? I don't have anything super set in stone. Um, things didn't go as according to plan. I had a lot of bills that happened to pile up when I got home from tour. But I told myself, winter time, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at least two tattoos. That was the plan. Like, and unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, but the goals I have right now is I really 
I've been craving a thigh piece. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. I just want something that takes up, like, knee to high thigh. I don't know <laughs> why. Something good chunk there. Um, I want something probably on my left chest. I've heard the chest and stomach are a pain in the ass. And I just want to dive in. I want to be like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's see how bad it really is. Because right. um, like I said, they all hurt, but I mean, oh. I sat through them, you know? So... Um, the only other one that I know I want is, have you ever seen the movie Watchmen, or ever read like yeah, a graphic novel? Yeah, I've seen yeah. Um, yeah. It's like one of, probably my favorite movie, and I was like, after I watched the movie, I was like, I'm going to try the graphic novel, and I sped through it. I read it, I was like, this yeah. is incredible. And that's one of my favorite things, and I want to get like the little smiley face pin nice. with the blood on it. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to get that oh, yeah. somewhere small, either fill in a gap here, or put it behind one of my ears. There you that's, go. Uh, that's, that's my plan. That's the only thing I have in mind. So any tattoo artist that happen to watch this, <laughs> I want something on my thigh, I want something on my chest, throw something affordable at me. There I mean, I'm willing to spend money because like I said, I love love the art of tattoos and um, I just that's something I'm, I'm willing to spend money instead of getting something correct. You know, so. yeah, no. Now is that what got you into getting tattoos or just sort of that love of the art behind it or was it or um, was there something else? Uh, so I, just something I want that on my, you know, I want that on my body. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I always thought tattoos were cool. Okay. Um, uh, never really had any family that had a lot of tattoos. I think I had like a grandpa that had one from when he was in the Marines. It was yeah. like a panther or something. Yeah. Um, but like besides that, I never really knew too many close people that had tattoos. And then I just started, I mean, going, I started getting into music when I was like a teenager, like my late teens. And just so many musicians with tattoos. And I was like, man, these, they just look cool, man. It just looks right. good. Yeah. And. And I would play games like Grand Theft Auto or any other games where you could customize your characters. And I just start throwing tattoos on them. Like, <laughs> right. like you'd have this guy covered head to toe with tattoos. And I was like, I don't give a shit, fill the spot. Right. And I'm like, that's going to be me. I'm going to yeah. get older and I'm going to throw tattoos on my body. And my mom was really against tattoos. She's yeah. like, when I was, uh, I was still living at home, when I was like 18 through 22. And she was just like, I really don't want you to have a tattoo. Like, if you're going to live under my roof, I'd rather you not have a tattoo. And, I was like, all right, mom. I mean, I love tattoos. She's like, well, so I respected it, respected her rules, and I moved out when I was 22, and uh, I think I was like 23 when I got this one. And I remember I, she was in Texas, on the, and I I was calling her, just talking, and she's like, oh, so what are you up to? I was like, oh, no, I got a tattoo. She's like, no, you didn't. I'm like, yeah, I got my first oh, yeah, tattoo. She's like, no, you didn't. She didn't believe me. So she came back from. She actually saw it on Facebook. I think my okay. cousin showed her, and, I was, and she's like, "You really got one?" I was like, and I told her, I was like, "You can't be mad." I mean, it's some. My mom. My mom has supported my band. She supported me in anything I do. So she like last night she was at my hockey. Like she's nice. always supported me. So I told her, I was like, "It's a hockey tattoo. You yeah. can't be mad." So you really, yeah. You're gonna love two it. things that you love. Yeah. It's something I love. It's yeah. not just some stupid naked woman yeah, on my right. body. Yeah. Not saying naked woman because I love a naked woman on my thigh. My thigh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, We're so. going to have to put a rating on this video. No. <laughs> just kidding. No. You did say that they, obviously, all tattoos are that and groovy. Mm -hmm. They all do. Um, any, like, what, what kind of advice would you give to people? Um, the key thing is don't go for something crappy. Uh, don't go for somebody that's just, like, saying that he can do tattoos in your living room for 20 bucks. Um, if you're gonna go for something low budget, go for a friend of yours that you support and they're doing an apprenticeship. You yeah. know, either in a sense guinea pig. You know what I mean? Let them. I would. I would love it. You know that. But besides that, it's if you hear somebody say, "Oh, it's gonna be five hundred dollars for this," like it's gonna be worth it. Like yeah. they're not a tattoo artist that's gonna throw a price at you just to bullshit. You yeah. know. So, like I said, I, me personally, I would be willing to spend the money on a quality tattoo because that's it's going to be on you forever mm -hmm. and everyone always says don't get a tattoo you regret it you know it's with you forever and you're right it's going to be on my body forever but there's not a piece on me that i regret yeah. you know what i mean and it's because i spent the money on it and i i i'm proud to say that i got dave ball right here on my forum mm -hmm. you know what i mean i got dylan's tattoo for all i know in 20 years dylan is going to be a, a well-known tattoo artist right? that, yeah i'm happy like, look at that yeah and that's his art it's not just Cool, I got a cool skull with the cobra. It's it's art. It's yeah. a cool, quality, talented art. And um, besides the fact of taking care of your tattoos, take care of them, treat them well. You know, you want them to stay on you in good quality, but respect the artist. Definitely. That's that's my advice. Respect the artist and respect the art of the tattoo. 
So. Oh, yeah. I just want to say thanks so much again for sitting down and talking yeah, uh, tattoos today. So, yeah, great, thank man. you so much. Thank you. Once again, guys, Rob from Until We Are Ghosts, go pick up their stuff. You will love it. You will fall in love with it. Check it out. Life in Color, J2 White. We'll see you. Yeah, the church that burns in me.